What's going on, better ball player people? So, Coach Jesse back with another video on the channel. Uh, thanks for all the love on the channel so far. Uh, you know, subscribe. So, we're going to get right into it. So, on this video, we're going to talk about the top three bats that I've seen in all of the regional action in the Little League World Series going up to the Little League World Series. And we'll talk about these bats and kind of what they offer and then maybe what's best for you or your son or your team uh, moving into a Little League baseball uh, season in the fall. So uh, I've been watching a lot of these games. I love watching it. It brings out the kid in me. So I love to just watch all these games, see what kind of equipment they're using, see the trends and everything like that being a coach. So um, I've watched a ton of videos on here. I've seen, you know, all the teams uh, as as recording of this video. We're getting into maybe uh, like one or two more teams need to finalize their seed into the Little League World Series. But um, other than that, let's get right into the three bats. So the top bat that I've seen uh, these teams use is this bat right here it's the easton adv 360 it's the usa bat obviously in literally you can't use a u trip bat so the usa stamp bats and i've seen this bat being being used all the time this is probably the most used bat that i've seen on all the teams it's easy to get um it's got a ton of pop for a usa bat you know probably one of the best all-time usa bats there is this obviously comes in a drop 11, drop 10, drop 8, and drop 5. Um, obviously, for your your kids that are a little young, uh, not as big, you know, the bigger kids probably use maybe a drop 8 or a drop 5. Uh, you know, maybe the younger kids using a drop 10, you know, there. So, you know, take a look at that bat if you're in the market. Um, it does, you know, this is the bat here. You'll see it. You'll see this, you know, this neon yellow all over the Little League World Series coming up. Um, so that was my number one most seen bat. Let's take it. Then uh, let's take a look at the next number two. Let's go to here. So this was the second most seen bat that I've seen. It's the Select Power, the brand new one, the 2023. Um, this is a three-piece bat, guys. Um, this one has a composite handle. It's got the piece in the middle here, and then um, it's got the alloy barrel. Um, this one um, started gaining popularity, obviously, when it came out. I've heard a lot of good things about it from other coaches and players. Um, I'm, I'm happy that you know Louisville Slugger came out with a bat for the USA that is uh, one that's picking up a lot of traction compared to Easton. I think the last two years pretty much has been all Easton. But now there's, you know, obviously this bat, and I'm going to talk about the third bat up here in shortly um, that I started to see in the market. So this bat, uh, very evenly weight bat, very balanced bat, um, be good for you know any type of hitter. It's in a drop ten, I believe they make it in other drops, but I'm not sure. It's got that EXD premium alloy barrel, which is new. Um, it's got the vibration control connection system. So good for those younger batters that maybe feel a little bit of vibration on their hands. So take a look at that. Very balanced swing line, like I told you. Um, and it's got that three-piece hybrid construction with the composite handle. Um, the other, the Easton one is a composite bat. Um, so just take that for what it's worth. I feel like composite bats um, tend to lean towards the more of the power hitters. That way can actually put good barrel on it. Um, they seem to get better exit vetoes as well. So, number three, the bat that I've seen the most, which is which is a new newcomer on the block here. Let's take a look. It is the Cat X Connect or Cat X Alloy USA bat. Um, there's no surprise that the Cat X in the travel ball space got a lot of traction. Um, but here is the Cat X in the USA barrel. Um, getting a lot of love i've seen it on a lot of these teams now so it's pretty much a brand new bat that just came out so these teams probably just got it within the last two three weeks i'm assuming but i'm seeing it a lot um so definitely one to look at i love maruchi bats my son uses a maruchi bat we just switched them over to a hype fire but that's a new trip bat so definitely want to look into this one this one kind of you know comes in 
a drop 11, has a bunch of sizes, is a very uh, balanced bat, um, definitely has that uh, that Marucci ting to it. I can definitely tell that AZR aluminum. It's got the, you know, their their knob is very, you know, famous for being a very good knob on the, the taper on the bottom. And um, it doesn't get a lot of feedback through the barrel. So definitely a good bat for anyone looking for a bat. And that price point comes in at 250, 40, you know, 250. Um, the Easton was the most expensive one, obviously at 350. And then the select power was at 300. So just wanted to get on there quick, uh, recap these bats with you guys, uh, show you what I've been seeing. Um, that way you can take a, an educated look into these three bats for the fall Little League season with the USA stamp bats. But I'll be co covering everything uh, when it comes to the Little League World Series. I'm going to go through all the teams. I'm going to cover all the games. So stay tuned for more video footage from the Little League World Series because it's just a place that I love. I love uh, Williamsport. Um, I'm actually from PA uh, originally, so I always dreamed about going there. We never made it. But I love watching these kids play. So stay tuned, and we'll get you some more footage from there. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.